Hello friends, this is session 3 in the series of uh, sessions of pathology and today we are going to discuss about cell death. Kipindi cha kwanza tuisoma introduction, kipindi cha pili chukasoma kuhusu cell injury and today we are going to discuss about cell death. Actually, cell death is like saying permanent or irreversible cell injury. As we said in the previous session that irreversible cell injury can lead to the damage of the cell and finally cell death. So cell death is what we are going to discuss in this session. So the objectives of this session, um, we need to define cell death, what is cell death, then we need to mention the types of cell death, then differentiate between necrosis and apoptosis. Uh, these are the things we need to know in this session. Oh, let's go. Cell death, by definition, it is irreversible cell injury. As we said in the previous session, kwamba, irreversible cell injury occurs when the um, cause of cell injury is persistent or is severe. Kama kitu kilicho sabisha cell injury, kikawa persistent o kikawa severe manake kitakachotokea ni cell death so in order to get the previous session unaweza kwenda kwenye playlist in our channel you can go to the playlist or an alternative you can go in the description below and then you can see the link for the session 2 this is session 3 so cell death is simply an irreversible cell injury it is indicated by irreversible changes in its structure and function. We discussed some of few changes in the previous session uh, regarding the structure of cell membrane. There is a disintegration of a uh, cell membrane and the release of uh, lysosomal content in the irreversible cell injury. So it is indicated by irreversible changes in its structure and function. And in the ability of injured cell to reverse mitochondrial dysfunction. Uh, the cell undergoes mitochondrial dysfunction and this mitochondrial dysfunction cannot be reversed cannot be reversed that's why we are saying at uh, the inability of the cell to reverse mitochondrial dysfunction kwa hiyo mitochondria inakuwa inashindwa kufanya kazi na cell inashindwa ku reverse kuifanya ifanye tena kazi Mitochondria kisha shindo kufanya kazi, wejuwe yo cell lazima ife. Kwa nini? Because it will lack ATP. We discussed it in the previous session regarding the mechanisms of cell injury. And the lack of ATP is one among the mechanisms of cell injury. But the second is the inability of injured cell to reverse cell membrane dysfunction. Hmm? What happens here, the cell membrane disintegration and if... Uh, cell membrane disintegration occur that means the cell cannot continue to survive as usual because uh, the cell membrane is like a gate controller which control uh, all the things entering and leaving the cell if it fails that means everything in the cell also fails so now let's see the patterns of cell death how cell death can occur there are different ways by which cell death can occur cell death can occur by necrosis by infraction or by apoptosis. What are the causes of cell death in these uh, patterns? Necrosis, actually it is the cell death because of uh, external factors. There are external factors which cause cell death by necrosis. In other words, we can say necrosis is the forced cell death. Tunakuwa tunai force cell kufa kukuna kukuna factor ambazo inasabisha cell ife hiyo ndo necrosis by definition it is the focal death along with degradation of tissue by hydrolytic enzyme liberated by cells so inakuwa ni focal death ya cell but it is associated with the degradation of tissue it is associated with the degradation of tissue by hydrolytic enzymes liberated by cells so a cell tend to liberate hydrolytic enzymes which cause the degradation of tissue. That is how necrosis occur. 
So the causes of uh, cell death in necrosis can be hypoxia. Hypoxia inatokana na cell kukosa oxygen. Insufficient oxygen in the cells can cause cell death. Lakini pia inaweza kuwa ni chemical or physical agents. The chemicals or physical agents they can cause uh, necrosis. Sometimes can be microbial agents yani microorganisms such as bacteria or virus they can cause cell death the microbial agents or they can be immunological injury immunological injury there is the problem with the immunity as i told you kwamba tunaenda ku discuss kwenye microbiology and immunology uh, there are some of the immune problems which can cause cell death by necrosis So essential factors in necrosis. First is the cell digestion by lytic enzymes and the, the denaturation of proteins. So there are denaturation or there is denaturation of proteins and the cell digestion by lytic enzymes. There is cell digestion by lytic enzymes. Now, let's see the morphological changes in the cell uh, if it is distracted by necrosis morphological changes in cell what will you observe in necrosis katika cytoplasm we shall see homogeneous eosinophilic ambao ni pinkish cytoplasm itakuwa inaonekana rangi ya pink tutaenda kuona microscopic appearance ya slide kwenye slide mbele kidogo hapa tutaenda kuona lakini cytoplasm inaonekana rangi yake pink inakuwa ni pink nadhani pink wote tunaijua ilivyo kwa sababu wengi tumesoma shule za bweni ambazo mashuka yake kwenda nayo ni either blue bali au pink. Kwa hiyo cytoplasm wewe inakuwa ina eosinophils. Eh? Eosinophils hizi ni moja kati ya inflammatory cells ambazo tunaenda ku discuss kwenye session za mbele za inflammation. Eosinophils zitaonekana. Lakini pia tutakuwa tuna eh, nuclear condensation. Condensation of nuclear chromatin ambayo tunaita pyognosis ni shazi elezai terminology kwenye session iliyopita we have pyognosis karyolysis na karyorexis pyognosis karyolysis na karyorexis unaona pyognosis ni condensation of nuclear chromatin alafu kuna dissolution of nuclear chromatin in a dissolve that is karyorexis karyolysis karyolysis lakini pia tuna nuclear fragmentation ambayo ni karyorexis hivi vitu vyote vinatokea katika necrosis now let's see the types of necrosis is it very important kwa sababu kwenye mtihani unaweza ukaulizwa kwamba eh unachokiona kwenye slide hapo ni nini more especially kwenye practicals za pathology ukumbuke kitu kimoja tuko Tanzania na Tanzania si practicals za pathology kwa sekandia huwa ni slide. Kwa unapewa slide kama kwenye anatomy kule first year unapewa slide unaulizwa hicho unachokiona ni nini. Tuanze na cognitive necrosis. This is very simple. Cognitive kama jina ambapo nasema it is cognitive inakuwa bado uh, zile seli ziko intact kama tulivyosema kwenye kipindi kilichopita. Kwamba there are preservation of basic outline of cognitive cells. Eh? Unajua kama unavyosema coagulated milk ni maziwa yaliyoganda. Coagulated cells hapa zinakuwa tu zimekufa lakini ni kama as if zinakuwa katika shape yake ile ile shape ya seli ibadiliki. So seli zinakuwa zimekufa the affected tissue exhibit a film texture ila hazibadiliki ule muonekano wake. Zinabaki pale pale. Kwa hiyo muonekano wa seli unabaki vile vile seli azionekani kama zimeoza au zimelainika au zimekuwa liquid. So increased intracellular acidosis denatures both structural and enzymatic proteins. Kwa mara nyingi huwa inatokana na increased intracellular acidosis. Acidosis inatokana na acid kuwa nyingi. Acid inavyokuwa nyingi maana yake seli proteins in undergo denaturation if the protein they, they undergo denaturation what happens zikish undergo denaturation manake cell inakufa ikiwa bado intact 
ila kama cell itakufa ikiwa intact haitakuwa digested so it is commonly after ischemia ischemia au ischemic cell injury ischemic cell injury inatokana na kukosa oxygen ischemia oxygen imekosekana kwenye tishu so ile tishu inakufa kimya kimya ischemic cell injury tissue imekosa oxygen and it can occur it can be seen in the heart in the kidney and in the spleen nitatuma vitabu kwenye group la telegram nitatuma vitabu eh, group la telegram link iko kwenye description hapo chini nitatuma vitabu vya practical na pia vya theory vya pathology na um, katika hiyo vitabu vya practical unaweza ukaziona tissues nyingi sana hata hapa zipo uh, nimekuambia kwenye heart kwenye kidney na spleen uh, unaweza kuona hii hapa inakuonyesha kabisa hii ni kidney unaona hii hii ni pelvis ya kidney eh yeah. uh, hii hapa ni medala ya kidney of collagenendo cortex unaona lakini hapa kuna hichi kitu tunachokiona hapa hii ndo necrosis yenyewe imetokea cognitive necrosis cognitive necrosis unasema cognitive necrosis ndio hii hapa unaona hapa yani e, kidney yote structure yake imbakia kama ilivyo lakini hapa zinaonekana kabisa seli zimekufa so this is cognitive necrosis e ndio cognitive necrosis kwa hii hii ni slide ambayo inaonyesha kidney ili undergo cognitive necrosis kwenye practical unaweza kupewa eh, picha kama yafu kaulizwa kwamba kinachoonyeshwa hapo nini what organ ni hiyo eh inaonyesha which type of cell death hmm hiyo ni organ gani kwa nini umejua kwa hiyo ni organ fulani pelvis hizi hapa zinaonekana za kwenye kidney unaona eh, pelvis alafu medala ilivyo more dark eh, cortex kule alafu finally tunakuwa tuna cognitive necrosis iliyotokea pale unaona lakini pia unaweza kuona hii ni, ni heart unaweza kuona hii ni, ni, ni heart kwa nini ni heart unaona hizi chambers hii ni left ventricle hii ni right ventricle left ventricle inakuwa ina ina thick wall unaona hii wall ulivyo it is thick wall and small lumen lakini uko unaona wall ni ndogo sababu hapa kabisa panaonekana pana mpaka hapa unaona um hii pia imeandago imeandago pia cognitive necrosis na unayoona huku nje ni mafuta haya huku nje ni mafuta sio cognitive sio cognitive necrosis haya nje ni mafuta ila cognitive necrosis ni hapa katikati unaona hii ndio cognitive necrosis ndani ya eh, tissue za heart this is cognitive necrosis katika heart tissue unaweza ku observe kwamba E, shape ya heart inabaki vile vile lakini kuna kwa kuna seli zilizokufa humo ndani <coughs> hiyo ndio cognitive necrosis ilivyo toka hapo kuna liquefactive necrosis liquefactive necrosis liquefactive necrosis cells are completely digested and turned into liquid mass cells zinakuwa digested na zinakuwa liquid kwa unakuwa ni uji uji inakuwa ni liquid It is characteristics of focal bacteria or fungal infection. Hey, then is a kind of bacterial or fungal infection. Infection exhibition of bacteria or fungus waondo wana digest wanasababisha kile kitu kile liquid. Kumbuka tuisema cognitive necrosis actually inatokea katika ischemic cell injury. Ischemic cell injury inasababishwa na kukosekana kwa oxygen, acid itaongezeka, acidosis itapelekea denaturation of both enzymatic na structural proteins na proteins ikiwa denatured cell itakufa there is nothing which can digest the cell in cognitive necrosis but in liquefactive necrosis it is because of the bacterial or fungal infections these bacterial or fungal infections now they release um, a different um, factors ambazo zita cause digestion of cell because these agents constitute powerful stimuli to accumulation of inflammatory cells kwa mfano ni abscess cavity abscess abscess ni jipu jipu ndio inaitwa abscess kwa kiingereza so abscess cavity ni jipu tunapasua jipu tunatoa kiini kupasua jipu ni 
kupasua abscess cavity unaona kwa hiyo mle ndani kunaweza kuwa kuna a bacterial or fungal infections within the abscess ndio maana wengine wao wanasema ni mchafu kwa damu mchafu kwa damu um, mchafu kwa damu ile ni lugha tu ya mtaani e, ni lugha ya mtaani lakini sisi wao tunajua zile huwa ni bacterial infections ndizo ambazo mtaani tunaita mchafu kwa damu lakini in reality that is bacterial infections that is a real bacterial infections for unknown reasons ischemic injury to central nervous system often lead to liquefactive necrosis so in central nervous system it is not known why but ischemic cell injury in central nervous system it leads to liquefactive necrosis that is abnormal that's why tumesema for unknown reasons manake haijazoeleka kutokea hivyo haijazoeleka tukute ischemic eh, tukute ischemic cell injury na perekea necrosis haijazoeleka kwa kawaida ischemic cell injury endakio perekea cognitive necrosis lakini katika central nervous system inaperekea liquefactive necrosis lakini pia tuna kesha za necrosis hiyo liquefactive tutaiona tuna kesha za necrosis a uh, liquefactive uh, feature yake kubwa ni kuona kama kuna liquid flani vitu vime dissolve kesha za necrosis uh, hii inakuwa inafanana sana na cognitive necrosis tissue zinabakia intact haziwi digested lakini one among the uh, unique feature of kesha za necrosis ukikompare na cognitive kesha za necrosis inakuwa na vitu kama cheese like cheese like unakuwa ni kama ni kama ile tishu umeimwagia chili hivi umeweka matone matone ya chili 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 ya kula kwenye chakula so found in the central of foci of tuberculosis infections inapatikana sana sana kwenye tuberculosis mtu mwenye tuberculosis mwenye kifua kikui mara nyingi watu tunamkuta na hii kesha za necrosis ambayo it combines features of cognitive and liquefactive necrosis. Kwa hiyo inachanganya cognitive necrosis pamoja na liquefactive necrosis. Inakuwa ni cell ziko intact lakini kama vile umemwaga chili mle ndani. Ndio maana nasema kesha's it is cheese like microscopically amorphous granular materials zinakuwa zinaonekana. Sasa hii ndio kesha's necrosis. Na hii ni kwa mtu mwenye mwenye tuberculosis. This is the lung tissue. I mean this is the lung in gross anatomy. Ni gross anatomy ya puff lenye lenye kesha za necrosis. Unaweza kuona ni kama chili vile umwagia eti. Eti eh kama umwagia chili hivi. Hii ndio kesha za necrosis hii hapa. Is is not ndio kesha za necrosis. Yaani kama unaona kuna vichili chili wamemwagia humu hivi. Ehe. Hivyo ndo kesha za necrosis. Um, Nadhani umeziona hapo. Lakini pia unaona hapa uh, hii hapa ini kwenye liver if I'm not mistaken. Naona pia hii hapa haitokei tu kwenye tuberculosis lakini pia tuberculosis tukisema tuberculosis sio kila tuberculosis ni pulmonary. Kuna tuberculosis ambayo ni pulmonary inatokea kwenye lungs baada ya kutokea kwenye lungs ikiwa more severe inaweza ikaanza kusambaa kwenda kwenye organ nyingine so tuna hepatic tuberculosis inayotokea kwenye liver na tuna tuberculosis ya karibia kila organ kwa sababu ni yule yule bacteria microbacterium tuberculosis anaweza ka infect other organs akisha infect lungs na kaziharibu sana anaenda ku infect other organs ehe unaona bwana kwa hiyo tuko na kuonyesha hapo ni kesha za necrosis. But this is liquefactive necrosis. Unaweza kuona kinachotokea hapa. Hii ni liquefactive necrosis. Uh, the appearance of cells like this one tutaenda kumdiscuss kwenye inflammation. Ni moja kati ya feature ya mm, ni moja kati ya feature ya e, tuberculosis inavyokuwa inafanyika inatengeneza giant cell kama huyo hapa. Tutaenda kwa discuss na utajikuta mpaka tunavyomaliza 
uh, pathology slide kama ukiona unakuwa unajua okay eh, something hapa ni kile hii ni kile uh, lakini pia unaweza ku observe liquefactive necrosis inavyotokea hapa le unaweza kuona kabisa kuna tofauti kati ya seli za huku na seli za pale imetokea liquefactive necrosis kumbuka liquefactive necrosis inafanya eh, tissue ziwe liquid like na liquefactive necrosis i told you hii hapa ni liquefactive necrosis hii hapa ni liquefactive necrosis always occurs in the central nervous system however it can also occur in other tissues but always it can be seen in the central nervous system from there we have fat necrosis fat necrosis is commonly seen in pancreas pancreatic necrosis and traumatic necrosis or sometimes we are calling them the traumatic cell injury traumatic necrosis au traumatic cell injury actually sio tu kwamba kwa sababu inakuwa imetokea accident lakini uh, ni kwa sababu ya conditions ambazo zinakuwa zimetokea so it appears yellowish yellowish white and firm deposits so inakuwa ni kama kwenye yellow color formation of calcium soaps imparts necrotized foci firm and choky kwa kuna kwa ni kama kuna unjano njano pamoja na eh, calcium soaps zinakuwa zimetengenezwa you can observe this uh, slide how it occurs inatofautiana na necrosis zote za kule nyuma this is fat necrosis inatokea mara nyingi unakuta katika mtu mwenye pafu ambalo na amekunywa sana pombe limempelekea apate e, apate amyloidosis tutakwenda ku discuss baadaye amyloidosis amyloidosis baadaye inaweza kupelekea fat necrosis more especially it is observed in the liver uh, in the liver that the gross appearance of a tissue with the fat necrosis also we have the fibrinoid necrosis uh, this is the deposition of fibrin like material deposition of uh, fibrin like material fibrinoid necrosis kuna kwa kuna mkusanyiko wa fibrin like materials so actually this is the end of our discussion regarding necrosis na um, necrosis ambazo ni most common ni hapa cognitive necrosis from there liquefactive na cashas necrosis cashas necrosis liquefactive necrosis slide is up even though vitu ambavyo ni common na ni muhimu kuvijua fat necrosis inaweza katoka pia now from there we can discuss a later on regarding apoptosis what is apoptosis what are the causes of apoptosis and things like that apoptosis is the greek word meaning falling off it means falling off inamaanisha ni ni kuanguka actually apoptosis it is the programmed cell death or it is the Uh, suicide program controlled suicide program it is the internally controlled suicide program e it is controlled by the cell itself it doesn't depend on any external factor so cognitive uh, i mean apoptosis it doesn't happen because of the apoptosis it doesn't happen because of the presence of uh, maybe infections or bacteria or anything apoptosis natokea automatically it is the cell which controls apoptosis it is the internal stimuli of the cell which controls apoptosis so apoptosis is the cell death due to activation of internally controlled suicide program always there are organelles in the cell which store some of the content for example mitochondria always it stores uh, calcium and other pre apoptotic factors if these factors they are released in, uh, to the outside of mitochondria they lead to cell death so apoptosis it is internally controlled apoptosis it can with any external factor so apoptosis the cell death due to activation of internally controlled suicide program it aims to eliminate unwanted host cells through activation of coordinated internally programmed series of events af affected by a set of genes kwao ni kweli kuna kwa kuna gene ambazo zina control apoptosis 
lakini inakuwa imelenga katika ku remove the unwanted host cells inakuwa imelenga ku remove unwanted host cells it is not affected by any external factor kama bacteria sio nini apoptosis automatically inatokea yenyewe apoptosis occur in the following general setting kwanza during development um, vitu tunavyoona kama vidole vidole vyetu visingefanya apoptosis vingekuwa webbed kama vya bata so it is apoptosis ambayo inakula ngozi iliyoko katikati ya vidole it is apoptosis which can lead to um, death and the digestion of the tail of tadpole however some people wanaweza kai define kama ni autolysis ya kwenye lysosome lakini pia apoptosis inakuwa ni controlled cell death and one among the examples of apoptosis hiyo pia huwa inahusishwa lakini pia at the homeostatic mechanism to maintain cell population in tissue cell population inaweza kuwa kubwa and then apoptosis ikafanyaje ikaziwa zile seli na ndio maana one among the causes of neoplasia it might be because of the failure of apoptosis or failure of um, failure of apoptosis to occur unajua apoptosis isipotokea maana yake ni kwamba tissue ita proliferate sana ita e proliferate kuliko kawaida yake lakini apoptosis ikitokea maana yake tissue ikiproliferate apoptosis inafyeka zile seli zilizozidi tissue ikiproliferate apoptosis inafyeka seli zilizozidi that means in the absence of apoptosis tissue ita proliferate kuliko kawaida na kile kitendo cha kuproliferate kuliko kawaida maana yake ndio cancer tayari hiyo Another factor ni when cells are damaged by disease or noxious agent. Kama seli zinakuwa zinaharibiwa na disease, mwili wenyewe or other cells they can decide to kill the cells, unaona? Ili labda kuzuia zile seli zisipelekee seli nyingine kupata disease. Yaani seli zinaharibiwa na disease ili zile seli zi, yani zina zinajiua zenyewe ili seli nyingine zisipate disease that is also apoptosis lakini pia inaweza katokea due to aging unaona eh, seli zikisha kuwa zina age kubwa after aging zinaweza zikafanya programmed cell death and finally zika die by apoptosis let's see the specific examples of apoptosis specific examples um This occur in the programmed destruction of cells during embryogenesis. Katika embryology tunavyokuwa tunafanya a development of different organs. Kuna kwa kuna programmed cell death kama tulivyosoma kwenye anatomy in first year. Eh, apoptosis occur. Lakini pia kuna hormone dependent hormone dependent involution in adult. Endometrial breakdown during menstrual cycle. Follicular atresia in menopause um hapa kuna bracket hivi tunachojaribu kuelezea hapa nini kwa mfano mm, kuna vitu vinavyokuwa controlled na hormone kwa mfano ni kitendo cha kukuta uterus inakuwa thick inakuwa thick wakati ambayo inakuwa ina eh, jiandaa ku receive pregnancy lakini if there is no pregnancy and menstruation occur finally the uterus break down what happens there actually we are believing that it what happens it is the autolysis which is the digestion of the cell and then absorption of the content digested uh, in ostra cycle it is the absorption of the content digested but in menstrual cycle it is the breaking down of the wall and then releasing out the contents which have been broken down by the wall and mixed with blood uh, that's what you call it the menstrual flow so some uh, hormone dependent involution ya vitu kama hivi endometrial breakdown during menstrual cycle and the flow out of the uh, ile menstrual liquid pamoja na follicular atresia unajua during menopause what happens ni kwamba menopause kinakuwa ni kipindi ambacho Uh, waswahili wanasema mayai yanakuwa yameisha but actually sio lazima yawe yameisha it's not necessary kwamba mayai yawe yameisha during menopause 
but what happens there if there is no any hormones the hormones ndizo ambazo zinakuwa zina maintain the structure of follicles eh, na ndizo ambazo zinakuwa zinapelekea zile follicles develop so if the production of hormone case that means the follicle will, will, will undergo atresia atresia manake ni kama vile zita become very small eh, karibia ku potea kabisa unaona that is apoptosis yani manake ni kwamba they, they they have become now unnecessary tissues and because they are necessary tissues now they are digested or the cell they are killed cell kwa kid ndio inayopelekea organs to become small in size i another example is the death of neutrophils during acute inflammation response the death of neutrophil we shall discuss regarding the acute inflammation response in the coming sessions tutaona acute inflammation na hizo neutrophil ni seli gani tutaziona lakini pia um, cell injury in certain viral disease kwa mfano a viral hepatitis in which apoptotic cells are called councilman bodies unaona cell injury katika um, hepatitis viral hepatitis apoptotic cells zinaitwa councilman bodies kwa hiyo councilman bodies zita ua zile seli ambazo zimekuwa affected with the hepatitis virus sasa unaweza kuuliza kwamba uh, how comes tena watu wao wanapata tena hepatitis hepatitis wanapata tena kwa sababu not all cells affected by virus can be killed and it's not often kwamba apoptotic cell will be able to kill the viral affected cell sometimes the virus they have what we call the uh, the uh, we call it the tunazita kama tunazita kama ni factor ambazo zinapelekea hiyo virus aweze ku cause disease i have forgotten uh, such terminology ambayo watu tunatumia virulent factor virulent factor katika bacteria katika virus katika fungi tuna virulent factor virulent factor ni ile factor ambayo inamfanya yule virus aweze ku survive au ile bacteria aweze ku survive kwenye mazingira mbalimbali kwa mfano wakati huo lungs zinapanga kumua microbacterium tuberculosis microbacterium tuberculosis na yeye anapanga kutengeneza kemiko ambayo itafanya seli za lungs zishindwe kuinvade unaona so that is virulent factor and how it happens lakini pia cell death produced by a variety of injurious stimuli that are capable of producing necrosis but when given in low dose such as heat radiation a cytotoxic cytotoxic manake uh, cytotoxic anti cancer drugs mm, dawa zinazozuia cancer and hypoxia dawa zinazozuia cancer actually mechanism yake rahisi ya kufanya kazi ni ku stimulate apoptosis because cancer is the result of the abnormal multiplication of cell there are different mechanism of treating neoplasia as I will shall see later uh, regarding the radiotherapy uh, chemotherapy and biological therapy of neoplasia lakini pia uh, cytotoxic and cancer drugs zinaweza kufanya kazi by stimulating apoptosis and thus stimulating the death of cells morphology of apoptotic cell kwamba katika apoptotic cell tuta observe nini what will be observed in the apoptotic cell we will observe cell shrinkage uh, cells is small in size cytoplasm is dense and organelles are tightly so cell becomes small cytoplasm is dense kwa sababu vitu vinakuwa vimebanana and organelles are tightly packed together so we observe cell shrinkage angalia sana hizi alafu anisha anaweza kwenye necrosis we observe cell shrinkage pia chromatin condensation chromatin condensation the chromatin aggregates peripherally and a nuclear membrane into dense masses of various shapes kwa kama hii ndo nucleus basi chromatin 
inakuwa kwenye masses huko karibia na nuclear membrane chromatin condensation inakuwa iko kwenye masses manake ni kama vile pale kuna chromatin unaona kuna kwa kuna masses of uh, chromatin zinakuwa ziko huko kuna kwa kuna masses of chromatin lakini pia formation of cytoplasmic blebs and apoptotic bodies cytoplasmic blebs ni uh, kama ndo cell surface membrane ambayo utakio uone cytoplasmic blebs zikitokea inakuwa hivi e, sasa cell surface membrane ndio inakuwa hivi badala ya kuwa vile ambayo utakio uone unaiona hiyo mikunjo ya cell surface membrane ndio inaitwa blebs so the cells show extensive surface blebbing unaona then undergoes fragmentation kwa inajikunja kunja hivyo baada hapo inajikatakata undergoes fragmentation into membrane bound apoptotic bodies kwa baada hapo seli inajikatakata kwenda vipande membrane bound apoptotic body cell inajikatakata eh, let's say hicho kinakuwa kipande kile pale kinakuwa kipande kile pale kinakuwa kipande kile pale kinakuwa kipande apoptotic bodies hizo unaona seli tayari imeanda go blebbing and then imeenda kutengeneza apoptotic bodies kumbuka ni 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 ni, ni, ni seli imejikunja baada ya imeenda kujigawagawa unaona composed of cytoplasm and tightly packed organelles kwa hizi apoptotic body inakuwa ni seli ambayo imejigawagawa vipande vipande so you can observe this i think this is robins book of pathology unaweza kaenda kuiona hii picha kwenye robins vizuri uh, unaweza kuona step 1 pale kitu kinaingia uh, dna kuna p53 this one among the proteins involved in apoptosis p53 na nadhani uh, pia p53 tutam discuss uh, mem discuss for money kwenye biochemistry tutam discuss kwenye cancer nyingi huko mbele kwenye pathology So tuna P53 pale imeingia eh imeenda kupelekea catabolism of cytoplasm finally unaenda kuona apoptotic body zinakuwa ndio hizi hapa sasa eh apoptotic body huyo hapa mwingine seli itakuwa ina katika katika kwa style hiyo ina katika katika ina katika katika kwa style hiyo apoptotic body hizi zitatengenezwa nyingi unaona ndio finally hadi seli yenyewe itakufa kwa hiyo seli zitakuwa zina katika katika pande pande baadaye seli yenyewe inakufa yote phagocytosis of apoptotic cells or bodies by adjacent healthy cell au macrophages kwa what actually happens ni kwamba baada ya seli kuandago apoptosis and the formation of apoptotic bodies zile apoptotic bodies zinakuwa engulfed by the adjacent cells na zinakuwa digested as how the the old organelles they are digested within the cell kama ambavyo you have the prior knowledge of uh, cytology how the old organelles such as mitochondria can be engulfed by lysosome and finally digested and the nutrient to be used by the cell kwa hiyo phagocytic uh, cells apo, i mean apoptotic cell they will be engulfed by phagocytosis the apoptotic cell will be engulfed by phagocytosis unaona bwana kwa hiyo finally Uh, these are the differences between apoptosis and necrosis. Naona katika definition mm, apoptosis ni programmed and coordinated cell death. Necrosis ni cell death cell death along with the degradation of tissue by hydrolytic enzyme. Apoptosis ni programmed and controlled. Ni programmed and controlled cell death. Lakini necrosis ni cell death along with degradation of tissue by hydrolytic enzyme huko hakuna degradation of tissue ni just two apoptotic bodies zinatengenezwa mm, causative agent huko ni physiological and pathological process huko ni hypoxia and toxins hypoxia is to the lack of sufficient oxygen na toxins ni sumu katika morphology no inflammation reaction death of single cell cell shrinkage naona cytoplasmic blebs on 
uh, cytoplasmic blebs on the membrane apoptotic bodies chromosomal condensation unaona phagocytosis and uh, apoptotic bodies by macro macrophages phagocytosis and uh, apoptotic bodies by macrophages lakini huko katika morphology kuna inflammatory reaction uh, inflammatory reaction pale always present a lot of death of many adjacent cells cell shrinkage unaona bwana cell swelling initially cell ina swelling huko cell ina shrink cell swelling initially unaona kwa sababu inflammation always huwa ina ina involve cell swelling kama ambavyo tunaenda kusoma eh, the cardinal signs of inflammation pia kuna membrane disruption huko kuna membrane blebs lakini kuna membrane disruption membrane inaweza ka disrupt kabisa ikavunjika eh, katika irreversible cell injury ambayo inaitwa necrosis eh, damaged organelles lakini kuna kuna apoptotic bodies damaged organelles nuclear disruption huko ni chromatin condensation is na just condense eh, then phago phagocytosis of cell debris by macrophages lakini huku phagocytosis of apoptotic bodies by macrophage huku ni phagocytosis of cell debris baada ya cell kuwa digest cell kuwa ime kuwa ime kufa kwa necrosis molecular changes to na lysosomes and other organelle interact lysosome and other organelle intact yani as we affected genetic activation by by proto oncogenes naona proto oncogenes au ni jini ambayo tumesoma kwenye biochemistry ni jini ambao wanakuwa wanazuia kansa na namna yao ya kuzuia kansa ni kuua seli ambao wana proliferate kwa speed ambayo sio ya kawaida wanaitwa proto oncogenes proto oncogenes zikishindwa kufanya kazi mtu lazima apate apate neoplasia apate kansa so proto oncogenes they are very important to prevent cancer um okay mengine utaenda kusoma mwenyewe hopefully this is robins na nitaituma robins kwenye group ya telegram leo hii let's some breakdown with the liberation of hydrolytic enzymes huko let's some and other organ they remain intact cell death by atp depletion Uh, membrane damage na vitu kama hivyo hapo lakini huku cell death hakuna kitu kinachokuwa damage kwa hiyo leo natuma robins lakini pia ili uweze kupata hizi notes na material mingine ya kujisomea ingia telegram group link iko kwenye description hapo chini but also continue to share these sessions with your fellow students here from uh, different universities and if you are fellow colleagues this is one among the simplified ways za kuweza kusoma na ku remember vitu easier rather than kukomana slide thank you and let i wish you nice studies